What up y'all, the Jeff Wilson here, but Jeff does what? Now what I have here today is the Creality Falcon 2 laser. Like I said, this is one of my favorite diode lasers I have in my shop. This thing's constantly running. But if you're like me, you wanna be able to cut through some thicker material. Well, that's where today's video comes in. What we have right here is a 40 watt upgrade. Now with this upgrade, it is quite simple. We got our new laser head and power supply. So like there is not a whole lot to this. So basically, we'll disconnect our airline, undo our wires, and pop that out. Like I said, it's one of the easiest upgrades you can do to this laser and double the power. Now, as you see, this 40 watt unit is a lot bigger. It's a lot wider, taller, but packs double the power. Now, one thing that sets this 40 watt upgrade from some of my others is the ease of this insulation. Like I said, all it is, just that one wire, air hose, and that's it. You're not having to change the whole gantry all the wiring on there, simple and easy. And I'll have all these extra parts sitting on the shelf. That's one of the reasons I went with this 40 watt upgrade on this. Now let's get some stuff on here and start cutting. So very first thing I'm gonna start off with is some 10 millimeter acrylic. This right here, I like testing on there just to see how well it does because it will really show how strong a laser is able to cut and penetrate through something, especially being acrylic. Now I'm doing two passes on this just to make sure it comes out good. And I can tell on the second pass, it's already burnt through. So I actually did not need that. Still a little hot. Hmm. Got all but one little area right over there. Ten millimeter acrylic. Let's try some wood. Next thing, I want to try some ten millimeter bamboo. I think it's got it. Ten millimeter bamboo. nice and smooth like i'm doing two passes on this as well just to make sure everything's going through and i already see smoke coming out from the underside so things little things it's a hoss already i can tell that i do recommend you being in a ventilated area with this just because how smelly this can get. It's time to step it up. Now what we're gonna start off with is one pass on a two by four. Got it framed out. Yo. Now, I ended up having to do two tests. The first one, I forgot to change my power settings on there. But on the second one, we got majority of the way through. But, like I said, it cut the majority of the way through with one pass on two by four. Do I recommend using this to cut two by fours? No. 
I'd never do that, much less there's a lot better equipment to do than to cut this with a two by four. But I'm quite sure if I did two passes on there, it would get it. Cause like I said, it was, I mean, barely at it. And like I said, on this side, I mean, the same way, right there at that edge. I'm not going to do another test on this just cause how smoky my shop is now. Cause this thing needs ventilated. Especially when you're cutting something like this, which I don't recommend. You're putting more wear and tear on your laser than it needs to do. Main thing I use this for will be that thick 10 millimeter acrylic. Now I also want to point out that it is simple to put the 20 watt diode back on here. Like I said, you're talking, you loosen your two screws, air hose, one plug, and then you're back to running just your 20 watt diode laser. Gives you a lot more versatility than some of the other lasers on the market. Something else I wanted to point out to y'all. Now this is just a short video of me showing you the upgrade I did to this. I said 40 watts, a lot more power. It cut through bamboo, it, ten, or it cut through 10 millimeter bamboo, 10 millimeter acrylic with one pass, like it was nothing. Like I said, I did, I did do two passes on there just to make sure but I saw the smoke barreling out of the bottom is after I did that first pass on there. So I knew everything was good there. I just wanted to show you what, what this thing could do. I mean, the Creality laser, diode laser is one of my favorite lasers. It gets probably the most use out of all my diode lasers. And I got a lot of them in here. I mean, I'm probably sitting around 12 lasers in here total. And this one probably gets the most use just cause how easy it is to work. And I never have any issues with it. Some of the, cause like I said, it can run light burn like I want to. And I'm not having to run through some other program, which I'm unfamiliar with. It's just a good all around laser. And now that I can cut that 10 millimeter acrylic, it's gonna get even more use. Cause I cut a lot of acrylic, especially on making keychains or something like that. A lot of small trinket stuff that I don't want to always load up my CO, my big CO2 with just cause only thing I do on that is cut. Where this, I'll be able to engrave on it and cut that like it's nothing. The CO2 behind me takes way too long on engraving, but that's a whole nother issue with, I'll have to go in later, especially whenever I come up with my, my one, year review, one year review on that thing. Now I'm just rambling on, but at this point in time, I'd like to ask y'all to hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps me out. And if you're wanting any Creality stuff, I do have affiliate links down in my comments. That's what helps me pay for this. That helps, helps me buy whatever I'm doing through the shop here. So till next time, y'all take it easy.